here and use a winch and flip the thing over and get those axles. This bit right here costs twice as much as the knuckle did. Playing in junkyard spun. The four inch uh, wire brush. So I'm at the junkyard today. You can see all that. And uh, trying to find a Dodge. So I've been searching for a little bit and all I could find was some one tons, some three quarter tons. But I found one half ton up on top of the hill and it had the wrong knuckles on it. So I found this green one here. Well, there's a Dodge there. Here's Dodge, but the knuckles are already gone. Well, crap. Knuckles probably gone on the other side too, huh? Oh my goodness. There's the knuckle. I guess I'm going to uh, work out my tools and start digging. I'm over with this little dimmy jig up the other day. Slides in the jack. I got a little crooked there. It'll be all right for what I'm using this point right now. But get this a little higher up so I get the logger. Get to my bolts right now, but I'd rather be a little higher if I can get it that way. Looking at this, this Dodge, these springs are a lot smaller than the ones that I put on. Mine come out of a uh, off-road edition, off-road package. You know, it had the lower gears, but also these springs are a lot smaller than what I had. Originally, I was told that the springs for the off-road package came out of a three-quarter ton. I'm starting to think that's right. Kids play in the junkyard. Play in the junkyard spawn. But I got my knuckle. Alright. Yes, I'm done for now. Alright, so I'm looking here. Here's a 2000 model front and rear axle out of a three quarter ton. I may end up coming back and getting this one. I don't know if the sports had the. Uh, 342 or yeah, 342 gears or not, but 2001 model, I guess. But I don't know anything about the Dodges. That's all. All right, so I started wondering about about this silver Dodge here, front rear three quarter ton axles. So I dug around and found the uh, club box handle. This one's here when I come back. I will probably end up taking the axle out of that one. thing is it still has a differential cover on it. Is the 
AAM 11 and a half here. Tag underneath here. I don't see a tag. I see this. That tells me anything or not. Oh, there it is. I think it's got 373s underneath it. Or 372s. So this one was probably a decent truck. Well, I can at least get that down to 60 and then buy a 14 volt for the rear. Suburban going, and then I can come back over here, use a winch, and flip the thing over and get those axles. Going back home. Uh, my shop's kind of a disaster, like always, but you see the knuckle down there. No, yeah, let's see. There it is. You see the knuckle down there. Uh, here's the old one there, and then the new one is there. So I'm gonna sandblast, break out my sandblaster. I found some blasting sand. So I'm gonna break out the sandblaster, blast that knuckle, look it over real good, and make sure there's no uh, no cracks in it. Prime it, paint it, and get ready to go on the truck. Oh, all right. So on the steering arm on my original one. You can see I have a drilled out 5 eighths. And this one here is still the stock Dodge taper. So I can install the insert, the tapered insert, to put the GM one ton tie rod ends on it. Well, I should have known better than to try and use a sandblaster when the humidity is as high as it's been. It just quit raining. And I, uh, I thought I'd go out there and sandblast. And that was a waste of an hour trying to get that done. So it's like I'm going to be breaking out the wire brush and the drill and the, the four inch uh, wire brush. So now maybe I'll get some stuff done. So the most expensive part of doing this this knuckle cost me 20 bucks. It was a three and a half hour drive to the junkyard to get this. The closest one I could find. And I really didn't have to spend much time taking it out. I uh, upper and lower I had to undo the upper and lower ball joints and knock it off. But this bit right here cost twice as much as the knuckle did. This isn't even the size I need. This is a five eighths and I need a seven eighths. So, this, so I had to buy two bits. So if you were using the factory Dodge steering, you wouldn't have to drill this out. All right, so here's that tapered insert. Cleaned it up a little bit, that will be all right. But when you slide your uh, one ton tie rod end in there and then start tightening the nut up, this will expand and wedge against the inside of this. I'm gonna go make 100% sure that that is the size hole I need using the old. Uh... Got it primed, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna run to the store, get some black uh, black paint, black spray paint, I'm out. So I'll let that dry, 
We've got the heat running, fans going, figure my face is all. I'm gonna go in there and take a shower, go grocery shop and get some paint while I do that. By the time I get back, it should be dry enough for me to paint black. All right, I enlisted the help of somebody. It don't matter if you waste some of it. It'll look better. Working on some bourbon, I'm gonna tear stuff apart. See if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Got it up on jack stands already. Ooh, that's dirty. Got it up on jack stands already. So, hear Brody in the backyard eat, eating it a little bit. Let's see if I can see. He's got my money's worth out of that thing already. So, I'm gonna get to working on this, see if I can figure out anything that's wrong. All right, so, got the tire off. Put it up on jacks and jack stands. Tire off. And, uh, all I see right now is a lot of mud. Still a lot of mud. All right, so I'm gonna get the, uh, get the caliper, the rotor, and the, uh, the unit bearing taken off of that so I can pull the knuckle off. So I got everything disconnected from the, the knuckle. Um, got it loose. This probably ain't right, but Knuckles off. Ball joint still is good. The boot's a little chewed up, but let's see if you can see it there. So yeah, the boot's a little chewed up. Everything else looks pretty good on it. There's the crack, but you can also see the damage on the uh, turn stop and it knocked the paint off of the steering arm there for some reason it knocked the paint off of it so I don't know if it flexed that too so those supposed to be bent down like that I don't think so all right back at it again just turn the shop lights on they're kind of dark it's chilly um got the uh, knuckle all painted ready to go put it together the opposite of what I took it apart I'm going to put you on a time lapse. I'm going to let you watch that. There's no sense in uh, talking through it. You see me take it apart. I think you did. Maybe I will talk you through it. We'll see. All right, so while I was at it, I went ahead and greased the ball joints. This one here has a plug in it because it'll, a grease out of mine will hit the axle. So I just pulled the axle out and greased that while I was at it. So I got that done. And, uh, this boot's a little chewed up, um, but I couldn't find a replacement at the parts store. I thought I had an actual extra tie rod end boot laying on the ground somewhere, but I lost it, so. Really want to do that. Oh. 
Oh, but I think I forgot to do something. That stinks. If I remember right, this is too thick for that uh, tie rod in. Darn. Grind it off. Stick. I sold before I take it apart and grind it. I'll show you why. She got the insert. But if you'll notice, this won't tighten up enough to get to the hole in the tie rod end to put the carter pin in. So you have to grind this down. Oh, probably almost a quarter of an inch to get the castle nut down low enough that you can put a, put a pin in it to keep it from turning out. Just use some uh, paint that says dry in 15 minutes and my George is dry in 15 minutes. All right, I'll go look at the torque specs and I'll uh, start tightening. So it shows the oil bearing bolts. It's supposed to be at 125. One more time. This nut here supposed to be 175 pounds. I only go up to 150. So we'll go up to 150 in about a quarter turn. Oh I guess I won't. I'll do that after the tire's on. That's it. The knuckle is on it. Um, I'll take the drive around a little bit. I got air tires up and they're still at low pressure for wheeling. Um, you've seen I took it around the block, but the only thing I noticed is that the steering wheel's still way out of whack. Um, so I'm gonna drive it a little bit and see if there's anything wrong with it. But the knuckle is back on it. Y'all, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you don't mind, give it a like, subscribe, and share. And we'll keep things like this going. Appreciate it.